Roll up, roll up, ladies and gentlemen, boys of all ages, welcome to a spectacular the like you've never seen before. As Yorkie and the Chihuahua, who's hidden somewhere over that way, having a rest, take you to the big top of fun. And our circus is about to begin. It will be the amazing American circus. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, let's go, go, go. And here we are. This is what we're going to call part of the Try to Play series. What well, these are are games I'm interested in trying. I like them. They're going to be a full let's play. If not, they're going to end pretty damn quick. So, the Amazing American Circus, what is it? Well, it's uh, fresh out in uh, early access. Uh, I believe they did a bit of an early access before, but it came out this month fully in early access. Um, and it's a card battler. Um, but its theme is not uh, exploring a dungeon or anything like that. It's entertaining as a circus. Let's go see how it works, shall we? I've done a little bit of testing just to see how it works. Not much, just less than half hour gameplay. So, uh, do you want one variety? Yep, we will. Custom. And we will use my boy there. It's not perfect, but it'll do. And that is me, Yorkie. We'll put the tutorial on because I want to see the. I want you all to see the prologue. Let's Look get the full story nephew. going. Grim as the Reaper. Got some bad news. He did. He hopped on a train because you see, his dad just kicked a buck. <coughs> his ma is uh, still mourning her husband, I suppose. I'm not too happy. Not sure she looked like it. Arthur and I was brothers after all. His dear dead daddy. You sound kind of sarcastic, mate. The owner mate. of the miserable Jones Circus. Mm, there you go. I bet young Jones has no plans to take over. Uh, maybe, but maybe not. Could there be a way to change his mind? Hundred thousand dollars. I wonder. Hundred thousand dollars is tempting back then. This is nineteenth uh, century. I think. Don't know if it'll say what date it is, but I think it's 19th century. Now, the funeral is over. You get back into the house, or rather, the ruined shed you used to call home. Uncle Jack sits down on an old squeaky chair and pounces his lips in a cheeky manner. And off he goes, the damn fool. Oh, that's nice. Mum's not happy with well, it. I'm going to be off then. <coughs> Hold your horses, boy. You gotta see what your old daddy left you first. Jack, you don't need to. But he's not listening to you. He goes outside and you follow with an exasperated sigh. No, they didn't know what he's gonna show you. Your pa left you his circus. Yeah, wonderful. You don't say. The circus, as Jack called it. Consists of a couple of rusty stands and an old ruined top. Big top. That hasn't see, uh, been used in 20 years. Hard to believe that he and Uncle Jack used to be the most famous circus performers in America. It's yours now, all that sad mess. I don't want it. I got a train to catch, so if there's nothing else... Not even gonna say hello to the troop? Oh, hey, up, guilt trip's coming. Remember, from the funeral? Look at that bloody hole up there. Three very smelly and very raggedy artists who look as though they've spent the last couple of years in a basement stare at you intensely with barely confined, disturbing excitement in their eyes. Oh, and Grandma Betty's there. Try not to piss her off. And sweet Jimmy, the guy makes the best <clears throat> pink lemonade. You greet them cautiously, and then you spot your mother coming out of the house, pulling the black shawl tight around her shoulders. A stern grimace softens as she gets closer. Oh, are you preparing a show to honor your father? Uh, no. Yes, that is exactly what he's doing. I wasn't, but I guess I am now. I am not. I'm. Come on, boy. Years of watching your father and I, you must have picked up something. Mm hmm. A good idea that this might not work well. <laughs> you know, this will be one big disaster, but hey, one quick show and they'll leave you in peace. Right? 
You know what happens when you give people what they want? They want more! They know you can deliver! These are your artists! Up to three can perform in a single show! This is your audience waiting to be entertained! It won't come easy! Since each spectator has various abilities and actions that will make your job harder! Here are your cards! They represent your artist's tricks! This is your vitality, I'll put the top. It refreshes at the start of the turn, as each artist increases it by one. Now let's pay closer attention to your, uh, your cards. A closer look at your cards, take a look, whatever. I can't read. Uh, pay attention to the types of cards. This one reduces spectators' boredom with impress. Your goal is to impress your audience and bring them to a state of delight. With this lot, good on you. And card's name is visible here. Fireball juggling. Okay. Every card has a vitality cost. Playing a card decreases your vitality by the specified amount. This number on the other hand represents how a card will influence your finale bar if played. This mechanic will be explained later. Here's a description explaining in detail what the card does. Some of the cards have effects that you can that can be activated in specific circumstances only. In order to find out the details of an effect, click on it. All right. Now use a deal, uh, highlight a card and point it at a spectator. Fireball juggling, we've got no out of six, we only need to build six for that. I impress, impress a fif, uh, 15, a random stranger. So I'd take Mother out, we need to take Uncle Jack out. <laughs> That's two towards the six. When you finish your turn, cards from your hand are placed in your discard pile afterward the audience performs their actions. I could have done all the stuff you know. But I guess this is a training one isn't it? Audience sneering uh, lowers the focus of your artist, so that's the focus. In order to protect your artist from the decrease of focus, use cards that equip them with the ability to ignore the attacks. Pay attention to the planned actions of the audience and determine who needs protection. Remember, the ignorability resets at the beginning of each turn. Cards of various effects, for example, draw gets you new cards, boons and flaws activate special effects on the character, and some effects renew focus. You can examine the, character, uh, the effects details by clicking that on the card, okay. So we've got to use this one, uh, ignore seven. Uh, that seems to be who they're going to target, which means they're going to both go for him, which means I want him to ignore seven points. <laughs> If your artist focuses its zero, one of their cards gets scrapped from the deck. Afterwards, their focus resets. If your artist loses all their cards, they're removed from the show. In addition, your vitality decreases by one. Next one for each artist. If you lose all your artists, it joins with a failure. Now, the interesting th question there, and I'm not sure. When it's removed from the deck, is it removed from the deck for that performance? Or is it removed from the deck permanently? Which means you've got less cards in your deck and you're more likely to need to reset. Mm. When the artist card is scrapped, you get to choose which one. Icons above the cards inform you where the uh, card is at the moment, so that's going to be discard, I guess, library and hand. Click to end your turn. I don't want to, I want to do this other stuff. If all the cards in your deck are used, the discard pile reshuffles into a new deck. It has a cost though, when a reshuffle takes place, all artists lose 5 focus. That would kill him. But, that's going to finish it off, isn't it? Impress 2 stagger, uh, stagger... Stash a juggling ball. <laughs> so, Grandpa's down. Each, or Uncle Jack, whatever. Each uh, card you play influences your finale bar. The card's finale value can be positive, neutral or negative. Pay attention to the order of your actions, etc. Bar is fully charged, use it. And we saw what it does. Yay! Young lady on a tightrope. On a unicycle. And she liked that, <laughs> did Mum? So Mum's happy. Shows success. Bing bang really bong! We done it. Arthur's blood in you, boy. Yeah, something like that. That was that was surprisingly good. And that reminds me. 
Yeah, there was a letter. Uh oh. Yes, yes, from the Circus Association. Addressed to your pa. There's gonna be a circus competition. Okay. Hang on a minute here. Okay. My title's gone missing. My bloody title's gone missing. I don't know why. No, we're not doing that. Uh. Never mind, we'll keep all that stuff off. Got to fix that up next time. <sighs> Sounds interesting. Sounds interesting. Wait till you hear the best part. The winner gets $100,000. Okay. 100000 Just fall silent, start thinking. You always resented the weird hobby of your father. Rather, it seemed to bring him bad fortune than profit, and yet it always deemed, uh, seemed determined to put you on this path. So much so, I always felt a deep need to resent it. Uncle Jack grins. You'd obviously share the winnings with your poor <laughs> uncle and widowed ma. <laughs> Wouldn't you? That's why you want me to take over. Can't say I blame them if they're struggling. Let's see, you got no woman waiting for you with hot supper. No house, no job, because they just let you go. Together with a fair share of debts. So basically, you've got no options either. $100,000 could solve most of those problems indeed. I guess I do know a thing or two about a circus. You sure do. And we need money. Yeah, sounds that way. You think about the show you just gave, and you have to admit it felt kind of good to be on stage. Fine, I'll do it. Why the hell not? My good boy. Well, in that case... Uncle Andrew, an old map of the States. All blurred and hard to read. That magnifying glass. This should help you on your travels. <laughs> Use it when you're ready to leave. All right. Good luck, kid. Smart decision, you aren't sure, but you're willing to take uh, to take that gamble. You think? Goodbye, son. I hope. She halts. Her voice quivers. Ah, never mind. Off you go then. This is your map where you get to choose which cities you want to visit. Locations are separated by roadways. One trip can consist of up to three roadways. Uncover new cities and quests uh, locations with the magnifying glass. Ooh, okay. Remember though that you need to pay with cash for each use. That costs 75 United States dollars. Select Seattle as your next destination. All right, we'll do that, I guess. Seattle type big region Wild West established 1851 population 80,671 might be a bit bigger than that now uh, Timber Timber calls Seattle Timber being its main resource but there are also other calls in the city much less proud much less noble seems no no place is free of social tension still the city akin to a phoenix throws back up after the Great Seattle Fire. So it'll surely rise from the cinders of civic unrest as well. Audience is a miner. Your artists have to eat. Before venturing forth, you get a plan you get to plan provisions for your travels. Alright. The number of cities you pass by during your uh, journey determines the number of me uh, required meals. Alright. Available dishes are listed here. Fine. The food you choose, I'm packed your artist. It's represented by three parameters. If they're high enough, they unlock positive effects, boons. If they reach lower value, flaws are activated instead. Here you can find out how specific types of dishes impact the parameters. Choose a dish and drag it to the available slot. Minus three, minus three, and minus three. All I've got is boiled potatoes. Which it looks is going to drop satisfaction by one to make it minus four. Oh no, it. Ah, oh, if I don't feed them, it does that. 
So that, uh, minus two towards flaws. Minus one towards uh, flaws on satisfaction. And five towards boon there. All right. I see so that. So my nephew packed up Arthur Circus and off he went. I'll be mighty surprised if it all doesn't turn out all right. His father was big in America once. Oh, we both were. The adventure of a lifetime awaits young Mr. Jones and his crazy troop. God. To be young again. Anything can happen in the Wild West. Oh, yeah. But I'm sure he'll be just fine. No, I don't shout about that. to becoming the greatest American showman is going to be quite challenging. I would think so. There's a prologue for you. Let's get let's get moving. So, we're your employees now, huh? Looks like it. Oh, this is going to be good. We knew your father well. Hey. Huh? I'm coming with you. Oh, wonderful. Let me just uh, see if I can sort something out here. There we are. It's that old drunk again. I'm a uh, coming with you. <laughs> uh, I knew it. I knew it. See, we think alike already. Oh, in the name of our. No, circus. didn't mean I agreed with it. I just knew it was going to happen. Our the of the circus. Our was thinking about it the whole way, and I found it. Jones and Jones Circus, you know. Seeing as we both are Joneses and your pa was named Jones. Yeah, I think I get it, but hold on a minute. It's settled then. You won't get rid of me easily, boy. I know how to make all this work. You couldn't be more pushy if you ran me over a cliff, could you? Sweet Jimmy sends you annoying look. That man is hard to argue with. I can tell you that. Better just accept it and move on. Your uncle makes himself at home and takes a seat in front of the car. Huh. Jones and Jones Circus it is then. Right. Journal. Now. Keywords. No. Audience. No. Cards. So these um, are the different artists. I've got a clown. Supporting artists, the clowns, they make others shine through comparison. With a clown on the stage, you're able to collect more vitality and control the set of cards better. Juggler. Juggling may seem like a simple trick. Have you ever been hit by a series of bowling pins? Those jugglers collect them in order to make powerful impressions, just so you know. Strongman. Uh, tough on the outside, soft on the inside. The mountain of the uh, this mountain of the man is there to protect the other tiny artists. All right. So, and then there's uh, counting chicken, mountain bank artist, animal tamer, all kinds of different ones. I don't have all of the other things open yet, do I? So I guess we're straight on to doing the show. Circus poster allows you to plan out your shows. Here you get to decide which artist will you'll uh, get on the stage. Choosing up to three performers at a time. I've only got three right now. Shows are divided up into three acts. And here is where the misfits come in handy. Their role is to activate a special effect at the beginning of the assigned act. The number of misfit slots on the circus poster informs you how many acts are there in the show. There's always a chance your artist will receive some effects, boons and flaws, and some special cards, gifts and hoaxes. When you're all set, press the button. Alright, well, I guess Jewel... 
Champion the Powerlifter and Pom Pom the Amusing Clown. Uh, misfits, we have a lizard man, beginning of the act, extreme press. Stash three for a random artist. Alright. And finales, we have needs 20, impress 15 on a random spectator, unicycle on a tightrope. So, ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages, roll up, roll up too. Jones and Jones, be top of fun. You'll see Jewel White, the performer, the most amazing juggler you've ever seen. You'll see Pom Pom, the amusing clown, who'll have you laughing in stitches. And you'll see Champion, the powerlifter. My God, you've never seen a man this strong in your life. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen, let's go. You never know how many spectators are going to show up, and that's why managing the business of your show is so important. Here is the expected revenue, 500 US dollars. Uh, if, if it turns out to be successful, you get cash. The amount should be somewhere between the highest and lowest, so it's 500 to 500. Uh, your income decreases if you lose an artist in the show. Alright, next. If you want, you can take a risk and increase the expected revenue. This action proportionally changes both the highest and lowest uh, value section. The bigger the risk, the better the reward. If you can afford it, you can always invest in promotion of your show. This both reduces the risks and opens up the chance to earn even more from a successful performance. Right, so if we put these in, we've got 300 cash, we can afford it. Uh, we would be getting eight hundred dollars and spending before before we did this we had five hundred. We'd be getting eight hundred and spending ninety. We need seven hundred and ten. That's a lot more. I don't know why I wouldn't do that. Now I can stretch that out. Now it'll give me uh five hundred and ten, which is marginally more than it would it was to begin with. So, 910. But if I don't stretch it out... 800. Oh! It can be 110 more. Or, 510 would be almost 300 less. Is there any point in doing this? I mean, it's a gamble. Actually, 710, wasn't it? Uh, so that'd be 200. Oh, it's 200 either way. All right, my mistake. I couldn't do the math. So we'll use that and hope to, hope to roll good. Start the show! Da, 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 da. Here we go. And there he is. Giving us some beef. Right, we have a 15 and a 15. They are both targeting. Here's one times five. Okay, and that is decreases a chosen artist's impressibility. Ooh. What's that? State of mind changes impressed by three. Uh, decrease one. Okay, so she's got plus three, but that's going to decrease. And they're going to do five damage to her. Right then, we can impress for... We can impress for and do two. <laughs> there we go! He liked that. I did a lot more than I thought, actually. Oh, because of the plus three. Nice. Got one stash juggling ball, and that's a zero. Uh, vitality one plus three. And uh, we uh, got drawn three. Tsunami, ignore five. Ooh, dash a juggling ball. See, they're only going to attack her, and she's everyone's already covered, actually. Smash a rock? 
On stash ignore, no. Uh, well, I could do that actually. And press one for every two removed. So it resets, doesn't it? And they're not attacking him. So I could do another three damage. But it doesn't actually help get towards the finale. That does, but I can't use it. That uh, does. In press three, stress nearing stash minus two. I don't think I want that. All right, we'll use it. <laughs> and you like that. Three more done. And we've got nothing left there. And that's got rid of that. Impress two stash of juggling ball, we can certainly use that. <laughs> We're only attacking him, uh, uh, her, so she can be covered. Uh, we can do shuffle your hand into the deck. Draw one card for each shuffled card. And I think we might do that. I put some three on there. Fire any farts! Got one left. Ignore one for each card with ignore used during this performance. All right, that's not all that useful. Extra hands one, what's that? Double zine press value of the next card played, okay. <laughs> all right, we have some more juggling for you. Yeah, we don't have what we want there though, do we? So, ignore one for each card with... Okay. Uh, doesn't really matter. Just stick it on there. Okay, it's as close to 20. And we got nothing else. And that reset all of them. Okay, that's fine. Uh, impress three, extra sneering stash two. That doesn't get me where I need to be. But we're close. If I do that. He's happy. Or he's done anyway. Uh, and if I can get another two, which I certainly can. Finger lift, boy, finger lift. <laughs> there you go, and then on to the unicycle. <laughs> For the finale of the big show. <laughs> <laughs> and they loved it. Congratulations, you finished your first show. Your artists are rewarded with experience points for each show. Leveling your experience, your employees up and locks new cards or improves the ones they already have. Always a chance your artist will receive some effects, boons and flaws, and special cards, gifts and hoaxes after this show. Last but not least, here you can find out how profitable your show was. 787, uh, earned 8. Seven seven. Spent ninety seven eighty seven balance. All right, and then we continue. You know what? I think we'll do fine with the circus. I mean, well, oh, yeah. a bit early to say. I bet you we're gonna get recognizable in no time. Put up a show in front of Buffalo Bill himself one day. Ah, that's big thinking. Why would we? 
to make him realize he ain't got a chance against us. Uh Uh-huh. Bill's going to take part in the tournament, I reckon. Challenging him, proving we are better, he'd simply resign. Mm. I think it's unlikely. Don't underestimate me, kid. I used to be tightrope Jackie. Yeah, but you don't know, are you? Think big. And now this looks like it's all unlocked, except for the show, because we've done the show here. So it's closed. Three fame stars. Got 1,087 cash. Now, Artist Wagon is all about managing your, fam- uh, your fabulous troop. All right. These performances, uh, performers are in your employment at the moment. All right. Clicking this button allows you to modify the chosen artist deck. Usually, artists can have up to five cards in their deck, and exceptions when the number can be even higher or lower. Okay. And there's none of them, is there? Okay. Uh, she's got a quirk. Decrease the finale value of a random card, a random artist card by one. Decrease the focus received by the artist. He's stressed. Training wagon lets you improve your artist's abilities. Remember, though, that only employees that are experienced enough can train, which we don't have right now. Uh, choose between getting a new card and upgrading the existing one. Upgrading the training wagon gives you a re-roll option that you can use if you're not happy with the training results. All right. Recruitment. This is the recruitment wagon. Here you can expand your circus through hiring new artists. Here you can always check which artists are available in the area. Each city can offer different performers. But it's not guaranteed you'll always find someone willing to join you. This section offers valuable information on the candidate. Most of all, pay attention to quirks. They may have both positive and negative impact on the performance. You can also check the candidate's set of cards. Your circus isn't too spacious, so you can only hire a limited number of artists, but you can always create more space by upgrading the recruitment wagon in the ringmaster's wagon. Alright. We got Precious the Angel. She's incompetent. Increase the regular value of focus lowered by the deck shuffle. Ooh, that's not nice. Altruist, other artists receive an increased amount of ignore. Okay. Oh, Queen, the Flying Woman. Decreases the finale value of all artists, cat. Oh, God. Decrease the focus received by the artist. Oh. Precious is a better one out of those. It's not good, but she's better. Impress three, ignore three. Uh, that's a nice impress. Ariel who perfects all impress eight. If her focus is full, ah, restore focus, ignore, draw to vitality to. Ooh, I actually like that. Let's have her aboard. Welcome aboard, precious. Recovery wagon. During your travel, your artists gather gifts which have positive cards. And hoaxes, negative cards. This way you can get rid of the negative ones. An artist with a hoax is always marked on this list. Here you can pick a card you'd like to remove. Press this button to confirm the action. Chocolate... Uh, hang on, that's a... That's a gift, isn't it? Vitality 2, draw 1, vanish. Yeah, I think that's... What's Vanish? Removes the card permanently when used or discarded. I see, it's a one-use thing. Additionally, Vitality can be spent to play cards. Okay. Okay. You can manage quirks in the Voodoo Wagon. Here is a list of your quirks. Check the description to see what they do. Select a quirk and decide what to do with it. Click here if you wish to remove it. If you don't want to lose it, uh, lock it. There's also an option to copy the selected quirk and give it to an artist. That's nice. In order to do that, click on the copy uh, button. Okay. 
Well, these I don't want, do I? Unprepared? No. Stressed? No. Incompetent? Hell no. And let's give that to my juggler. Because I think Jewel and Precious are going to be in both of them. It's going to be Jewel, Precious and uh, Champion. For my standard. Right, Cookhouse Wagon. Want to keep your artist satisfied? Visit the Cookhouse Wagon. All value, uh, available recipes are listed here. You can upgrade your, the wagons and discover more. The effects inform you how the dish impacts the satisfaction, health and nutrition. Before you start cooking, you have to buy the right ingredients and all dishes first. Uh, not the prices differ across different cities. Let's cook to prepare the dish. See, the problem with this is I can't see exactly what they do. Alright. You can find misfits in the Bazaar Bazaar. Misfits have various abilities and you get uh, to use them during the show. Find more misfits by completing quests and giving successful shows in some of the cities. So I've got the lizard man already, got no one else. The Ringmaster's Wagon, your personal quarters. This way you manage the whole circus. All your wagons are listed here. Selecting one presents upgrade options. Here are the upgrades available for the selected wagon. Every time you upgrade a wagon, the cost of all future upgrades increases. So keep the order of your investments in mind. I mean, less hoaxes would be nice. That's 200 USD. I don't want to really spend that. And there's a journal. So we're out. And we'll save. And with that, the next time, we'll hit the road again. We have a new artist. We have Jewel White, the amazing juggler. We have Champion, the power lifter, strongman supreme. Pom Pom, the amusing clown for your delight and de uh, delectation. And precious the angel swinging through the air like you wouldn't believe. So, with that, my friends, we draw to an end of this episode. The circus will be back. And there, right now, there are links around which you can swing to like precious to enjoy other gameplays on the channel. There's a like and a subscribe which you can pound as if you're a strong man to help the channel grow. On a comment section that I will help you juggle your comments in if you post there. This has been me, Yorkie, and hiding over there sleeping, the Chihuahua. Wishing you all the best. Sydney and on 